One of the last things that you're going to do to complete your medical record editing is looking at your tab order. This should be the last thing that you do because if you go back and edit to add things or remove things, it's going to affect the tab order. So this is actually a really good example of uh, something that needs to be adjusted. So um, basically every field is aligned or assigned a tab order. So it's um, going to start with one. So this is my field number one. And then I have two, three, four, all the way down there, five. So you can see this is a really good example of how things jump around. You're probably not going to want this chaos on your screen. And it's relatively easy to change this. So let's go ahead and go into edit mode. And we can minimize our edit records window. OK, so now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to have the system organize the tabs for me. And how it's going to do it is it's going to start at the top and it's going to go all the way across. So it's also important to do this after you have aligned your, your page because everything is going to um, go a lot smoother. For instance, if uh, in this row, if I were to have this one a lot higher than this one, it's going to see this first because it's at the top. So this would stay tab one and then it would go two and three. So that kind of gives you an idea of how it works. All right, so to do that, we've got a button down here. It's this little gray square with lines. And we've got an option for reordering the tab page. We get a prompt asking us if we're sure. I'm pretty sure I am. So I'm going to click yes. And we can see that it just went through and basically organized everything for us. So this actually works pretty well for most tabs. There are some tabs that are going to require some tweaking. Uh, common common ones that are going to require some some fine tuning are like the refraction tab the contact lens fit um, anytime that you want it to go not from left to right but from top to bottom so i'm going to go ahead and show you that too for that you've got a button at the bottom it's called reorder and this button, just so you know, it allows you to toggle between reorder, which is how you do your tabs. So when you click it, everything is going to turn white. And instead of moving the tabs around like you normally would, it's actually going to allow you to click in here and then change the tab order. So a lot of times when you click in the tab, it's going to bring you into the middle. Um, this, you can actually use your, your arrow keys on your keyboard or you can use your home key to bring you to the very front so that way you can edit it. So basically what you're going to want to do is let's say I want my distance to go ODOS and then near ODOS and then I want it to go to working distance. So that would be uh, the numbers would be four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to change this. So you can highlight and uh, do the first number and just change it to five on your keyboard. And then when you click in your next box, it's just going to lock it in. So I'm going to click home. Uh, so you can highlight it or you can actually press delete since you're at the beginning. So then we can do six. Actually, that one didn't need to be changed, but that's okay. And then seven and eight. All right, so that actually worked pretty well. Uh, let me go on through and do the Amstler grid as well so you can see that. So we'll make this 16. And then you can see that automatically changes to 17. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same for these ones. 21, 22, 23. And so this tab actually uh, goes pretty quick. Some of the other ones, like the refraction and the contact lens trials, are going to take a little bit longer. But it's definitely going to uh, help you keep your sanity. And it's going to be a good thing to do in the long run. And that is that. Uh, once you have your tab order changed, you can click Move Item again and go back to the mode where you can move your fields. Uh, keep in mind that if you are in an old version of Crystal, when you click and uh, toggle between Reorder and Move Item, and if you have panels on your page, you might notice that everything disappears. So you'll have to. Uh, stop editing and save changes, and then come back into edit mode. Um, or you should probably just update to the most recent version of Crystal because it's, it's fixed in a patch. So there's that. Thanks for watching.